Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It's 5.52 p.m. Central Standard Time and it's about 80 degrees outside. This is April the 20th or 21st, I don't know. It's in April. It's 2017, I got that. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, anyway, 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 anyway. I was outside walking just now and I was thinking about some of the comments I've had and letters that I get in the mail related to RVing and you know a lot of people say that you know i've helped inspire them to go do things on the road which is great because i think you'll enjoy yourself but for those of you that are looking at first travel trailers <clears throat> let me just make a suggestion based on my experience i, I have full-time rv for over 20 years i've pulled a travel trailer different ones uh, all over everywhere in the western usa mainly and you know, there, there's just, of course, there's all different types of, of travel trailers. There's fifth wheels, travel trailers, all that stuff. And, you know, there's all different sizes, you know, pop out, you know, those with slide outs, those without slide outs, the great big ones, and then the little bitty one, you know, the iPod or MyPod or whatever the hell it is, and the, you know, the tag and etc. You know, the little bitty ones where you're just basically pulling a bed down the highway and everywhere in between. And then they got fifth wheels that are so big that, uh, you know, it looks like an 18-wheeler, you know, pulling a rig down the road. But, you know, different choices, you know, different strokes for different folks. But the point of this video is going to be, <clears throat> you know, whenever you go looking for a travel trailer, now I'll just focus on that just a minute. I think one of the things you need to think about first are at the beginning of the process is what kind of vehicle do you really want to drive down the highway all right forget the travel trailer you know what type of vehicle do you want to drive down the highway do you want to d drive a diesel dually do you want to drive a regular pickup with a v8 or a big v8 do you want to drive a pickup that's a v6 do you want to drive an suv once you make that choice, then, then, then move on to the type of RV that you can tow with that vehicle of choice. Because just remember, when you arrive at your campsite, that thing, that vehicle that you towed it with is your family car. You got me? So when you pull into wherever you're going to camp, an RV park or or a boondocking or whatever uh, and set up your camp then your vehicle becomes your primary vehicle once you unhook that's the vehicle you're going to drive around town and go grocery shopping in and travel around to see the sites and so you know just be sure you're comfortable with that vehicle choice if you like that, because see, you're going to be driving that vehicle thousands, thousands of miles. You're going to be going down interstates, you know, 75, 80 miles an hour, whatever you drive, 60, whatever, it doesn't matter. And, you know, the fuel economy of the vehicle always comes into question. Uh, you know, and just remember that, you know, having a little too much power is never a problem. It's like solar power. You know, having too much solar is never a problem. Having too much cash is never a problem, but underpowered is bad, bad, uh, for a lot of reasons other than just being underpowered. So whenever you're looking at a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, or a bumper pull, be sure that the vehicle you're going to tow it with is something that you enjoy driving and that you feel comfortable in. Because once you're out there on the road for months, and I've been out there for years, uh, it's your family vehicle. That's it. So, you know, those are some of the things that people may, I think some people get the cart before the horse or however you want to say it. They choose the RV and then choose the tow vehicle. Well, and that, that that's one way to go at it, you know, if you know you and your wife want a big home or the pop outs and all that stuff well then you're going to have to have a big rig to pull it with 
I mean, if you're living full time in it, of course, that's another thing to think about uh, because, you know, that's going to be your way of life. If it's just going to be a, quote, every now and then thing, maybe a month a year or two months a year or three months a year, whatever it happens to be, that's a whole nother choice. You know, then you could, then you can kind of downsize because if you're just going out there to have to play and uh, see the Western or whatever, the USA or wherever you're going to go, then my recommendation would be to stay small, you know, get you a, a small art, a travel trailer or fifth wheel and with get a tow vehicle that matches up that'll tow that thing very easily and then you've got a car or a vehicle that you can use around home uh, as, a, as your primary vehicle and then when you get ready to go somewhere you just hook on boom you're gone but you know to go out and pick the rv and say well now this is the one we want and then match up a diesel dually super super thing i don't know you know you got to look at and it you know are you going to be full time or not you know, that's a big decision, too. A lot of people think they're going to sell their home, go out on the road, and live happily ever after. And it ain't like that out there. It ain't. You're going to go to places that are going to be crowded. You're going to have the same old frustrations you had uh, everywhere else. And I'm not being negative. There's a lot of upside. But you just have to remember that out there traveling on the road full time, and I did it for 20 years, I'm telling you, uh, you got good days and bad days. And, of course, I have a home base now. I've had a home base for the past 12 years. Makes a big difference. You know, I can, of course, I've had this RV parked here for three years. I haven't pulled it at all. I went camping in my Toyota Prius for five years. And, uh, you know, now I'm fixing to go camping in a pickup with a camper and so forth. But having said that, I just wanted to just, I just happened to think about it. I get comments related to that and then I also get comments from people that want to, you know, buy a small motorhome and so forth. And I, I, I understand that. I looked at all of them. I looked at, you know, building out a van. I looked at, uh, you know, building out a U-Haul. I looked at uh, ev about everything you could possibly look at. You know, in fact, right now I've got a 13-foot scamp on order, and we'll see how that goes. But right, I also have a topper or a camper for my ram pickup that uh, is coming in in may and i'm going to look at that real hard because if that satisfies my camping niche uh, then uh, what i may do is let my son still have this travel trailer but do something else here for for permanent accommodations when i'm here uh, I'm, I'm working on it i'm working on it. but anyway just a thought you know when you're looking at going full-time RVing and, and using a travel trailer particularly, uh, be comfortable with the tow vehicle first, in my opinion, and then whatever it will tow, great, everything works. And, you know, if you're going to, I had one comment from an individual in his late 60s, and he and his wife are going to do this soon, or in the near future, and he's going to get a little motorcycle or motor scooter or something to put on the back. Let me tell you, folks, I rode a motorcycle for years, too. When I was younger, motorcycles are dangerous. I'm not kidding you. And you know, you you hit some gravel uh, on the road, you're you're in trouble. Or you get on a gravel road, you're in trouble because two wheels just is not stable. Or you come up to a red light, and there's a little oil that some car dripped on the pavement before you got there, or whatever down you go folks and nobody's looking for you on a motorcycle nobody they can't see you in the rear view mirror so those of you that are thinking about putting your little scooter back there or two scooters or whatever you're going to do and you're going to go to the grocery store and do all those cute little things all i can tell you is be sure you're wearing a helmet and all the leather you can put on because when you come off of that thing and i've come off of them a few times uh, you're, you're glad you've got it on. It's called pavement rash. It's just like a burn. But be that as it may, these are just little tips that may help somebody. And uh, I hope they do, because I've done this for years, and I know what mistakes I made. I made just about every one you can make.
and I'm still making them. So anyway, thumb, thumb, that's a thumb now. <laughs> Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy USA Made when you can. And if you want to contact me by mail, PO, uh, it's Rusty, P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639. Or you can fan fun to PayPal at Rusty78609 at Yahoo.com. And for those of you that have done that, both of those, I got a lot of mail today. I appreciate it. And for those of you that are fixing to go out there on the road, enjoy it. But anyway, drink plenty of water. Three quarts a day won't hurt you. You may pee like a racehorse or a two or three peckered possum. That's three, okay? And <laughs> it, gets, it gets worse. And uh, anyway, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. Why? It relieves stress. It lowers, it'll actually lower your blood pressure. And those are free. You don't have to go to a doctor for that. You don't have to take a pill. So... Anyway, I know a lot of you guys are getting older and you're retired and you want to go out and play in the West or whatever you want to do in the see the USA. All I can say is is uh, be careful. You know, don't <laughs> don't overextend yourself, so to speak, because I, I do that every now and then. But anyway, thumbs up. It's a lot of fun. I've got, I'm going camping in my pickup pretty soon. I've got a camper top ordered. Oh, if you're interested in uh, tips on full-time RVing or camping in a car. I have playlists on my channel homepage at Rusty78609 and check them out because uh, for those of you that are going to go RVing or for those of you that are going to go camping in a car, a lot of information there that may help you. I hope so. Anyway, enjoy guys. Adios. Bye-bye.